Major Slack Attack. Hey, my name is Major Slack and this is Elden Ring. If you're feeling a little daunted about how to start off in this massive, humongous, colossal RPG video game, this is what you should do in the first 12 minutes of every new game you start, regardless of the character build or your personal agenda. And this assumes that you're already familiar with the basic game mechanics. Alright, let's do this. New game. Choose a character. I'm going with Wretch just for demonstrational purposes and I'm going with no keepsake. That's it. Let's go. This is not an early OP build power start. This is not about collecting a ton of money. This is not about collecting a ton of smithing stones. This is just about getting you the essentials to play the game. Grab this item here. This will allow you to continue. Go through this door. Down these stairs here. Coming up as the boss that you're not intended to to beat. You can beat him, but don't bother. Let's just go across this wooden bridge here and straight into this area here. Once he spawns, get right up in his face, hit him a few times, and you'll die. That's to be expected. Don't worry about it. Mission accomplished. You can skip all the cutscenes and skip all the NPC dialogue. Once you've done that, go past this golden tree here, up the stairs, and open this door. Up these stairs, interact with this side of grace. Grab this item here, you'll need it to continue. And take the elevator up. Open this door. And you now you are now in the open world. Interact with the side of grace. Dead ahead, you'll see a church. Go to that church. Ignore the giant horseman on the right. You're not ready for him yet. Take this path here. Behind these bushes, behind these trees. Generally head towards the church. The first thing we're going to get you is a crafting kit. The crafting kit costs 200 runes. Conveniently enough, the game gives you 400 runes right here, in the form of Golden Rune Rank 2. Grab that, go to the Church of Ella. Interact with the Church of Ella Site of Grace. Go grab this smithing stone here. This is just for demonstrational purposes. We're not collecting a bunch of smithing stones. Interact with this merchant. Go to his sell screen, sell him the Golden Rune you just picked up. That'll give you 400 runes. Back out, go to his purchase screen, buy the crafting kit. This will allow you to craft items. You'll have a new option in your menu. Item crafting. You can craft these items by default if you have the right ingredients. If you collect more cookbooks, you can craft more items. Cookbooks cooks can be bought or found in the world. Here's a cookbook right here you can buy for 500 runes. And it will allow you to craft bone arrows, bone bolts, etc. etc. Alright, next. Head due north. You'll see a path on the right with some enemies on it. Just ignore it. Just kind of head due north through this kind of like this impromptu path through the woods here. Next, we're going to get you a horse so that you can travel around very quickly. The horse is free. Head due north through the bushes here. Directly toward, towards this cliff. 
Once you get to the cliff, simply follow the cliff's edge along. Here at the bottom of the cliff, follow it along here. And eventually you're going to see a sight of grace up ahead. That glowy light thingy there. Those are sights of grace. Like I said, I'm assuming you're familiar with the basic game mechanics. Interact with the sight of grace to activate it. And to rest here. And now we're going to talk to Molina. Roll through her dialogue. And she'll eventually offer you the spectral steed whistle. Accept. And there's the spectral steed whistle. Grab that. It will summon a torrent as treat him with respect. And that's it. Leave. At this point, you can use money to level up. That's the subject of another video. And you should go down here to the east and kill this guy. Get up behind him and press the attack button. Circle around. Do a jump attack. Kill him. Go into sneak mode and head east towards this kind of pillar kind of deal here. And you'll find this item here, which is a map fragment. Grab that and back out quickly before those guys discover you. Back out and cross the road about here. Go back down. Stick in these bushes here. You see a guy sleeping next to the campfire. Go past him and into this corner here. Look around here, run past the doggies, and go down the stairs. Open this door. Take everything in this chest. The Ash Force Stomp and the Wetzel Knife. And now you can use the map to go back to Gate Front. Hotkey your horse. Get on your horse and travel due east. The item that you just, just picked up, the Whetstone Knife and the Ash of War Storm Stomp. The Whetstone Knife can be used to apply new skills to your weapons. You can do that at any side of grace. Continue to the east. Eventually going to come upon an enemy camp here. You can double jump your horse by simply pressing jump while you're in midair and jump over that obstacle there and grab yourself a free cookbook. This will allow you to cook or rather craft more items and go out of the enemy camp. Head generally in a northeasterly direction. And you're going to curve around to the right until you see this kind of wind kind of thing coming out of this ravine. See the wind? Jump onto that wind. This is a spirit spring. This will break your fall. Once you get to the bottom, press the jump button again and push forward. And this will put you up onto this cliff. Once you get to this location here, this shack, grab this smithing stone. You could interact with this painting, but that does, that's not necessary. Interact with this side of grace. And get back on your horse. Look for the big golden tree. Once you find the big golden tree, look, go towards that until you get to the edge of the cliff. Turn to the left and follow the cliff's edge to find a safe place to drop down. Generally, it's a little past these two birds here. Once you find a safe place to drop down, drop down. Turn back to the southeast. You can do the same thing along here. Turn to the left a bit and drop down here. And now you're going to push once again to the southeast. Find this big fallen curved building here. Double jump your horse onto it. And follow it down to the end. Once you get to the end, turn to the left. And now we're going to head northeast. You see this structure ahead. To the northeast. That's another church. This is the third church of America.
at the third church to America, you have another side of grace. Discover it. And in this bowl here, you get the Crimson Crystal Tear and the Flask of Wondrous Physic. This will allow you to mix up bonuses that you can use once per once per rest. Go to any side of grace and you have this new option, Mix Wondrous Physic. Click on that and you have two slots. You can put these things called Crystal Tears in these slots and you can use your Flask of Wondrous Physics to get certain bonuses. Um, talk more about that in my walkthrough, my prisoner walkthrough or my samurai, samurai walkthrough. I'll put some links in the video description. From this point here, um, you can wait till daytime. Until noon. Look on your map. We have one map, West Limgrave mapped out. East Limgrave is not mapped out, but you can always find new maps by finding these little light beacon things on the map that is not mapped out. Put a beacon there, get on your horse, and go straight to the beacon. Basically, you're going to follow this road down, that road there. And the road is just in the real game world. It's just kind of like this dirt path that we're following along now. But so all you have to do is just follow this dirt path. And it goes over these ruins here. You're going to go past the boar here. He's always there. Just ignore him. The path will curve around. You're going to go past this funny look of light thingy here. And there's going to be a, a small bear here. Just ignore him. He's not that threatening. The big bear off to the right there. He's the threatening one. But all you want to do is collect the map fragment right here. Once you've gotten that... Turn towards this structure here and basically to the south and find the minor earth tree and go clockwise around the minor earth tree until you get to this bowl here and collect another couple of spiked crack tier and a green spill crystal tier. And now you can use your newly mapped out map to go back to where we were. now have two more items that you can put in your Flask of Wondrous Physic. You can put this one here or you can put the Spiked Cracked here. This will give you extra extra damage for your charge attacks. Once you're here, get on your horse again. Double jump through that hole there to the northwest and find a swamp. Turn to the right and go to the end of the swamp towards the east and you'll find this special kind of like teleporter thingy. Interact with that and agree to travel to another location. At this new location you're at Grail's Gra Dragon Barrow. Open this door here. Interact with this side of grace and rest here. Rest and you'll talk to Melina again, who will offer to take you to the round table hold. So just roll Forgive through her dialogue. To determine if you have it seems torrent, whereas I merely pretend there is, but I can take you to the round table hold. There we go. Gather and agree to go. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you. This will take you to the Round Table Hole, the main hub of commerce and communication in Elden Ring. And you can talk to all kinds of NPCs here. And that is the subject of another video. Or you could just check out my walkthrough, my prisoner walkthrough, or my samurai walkthrough. Links in the video description. For now, I want you to go back to the Church of Ella, Site of Grace. Here you're going to meet Witch Rena. 
have a word. Talk to her. To meet the Roll through her dialogue. The witch, Rena. I'd heard tell of a time and she's going to give you the spirit calling bell. Call for... Tell her you can call the spectral steed. Ah, I was in Tritorrents. And there we go, the spirit calling bell. And the lone wolf ashes. These are special spirit companions that will help you out in combat. To the bell of calling forth spirits. Finish Some off her dialogue. Spirits. Now it is that. Forgive my doubt wish. How long will he for the tar? That's it. You are done. Let's just wait till daytime for demonstrational purposes. That's it. You have everything you need to start playing the game. You have all the essentials. Like I said, this is not an early OP build start. This is just simply getting you the basics. You have a horse. You can go lots of different places. You can go anywhere. As long as you have the patience to run around. You have the map opened up. You have Limgrave completely opened up. The map is a lot bigger than this. There's more map fragments that you can find to the north and to the east here. But you have the main early part of the game opened up. And you can see clearly what is what. And you have all these different sites of grace that you can easily fast travel to. All right. You have the Flask of Wondrous Physic. You could use this once per rest and you can fill it up with different crystal tiers to give you different bonuses. For example, just for demonstrational purposes, this one here increases your stamina. If you look at status, look at stamina. Our stamina is now 96. Loading the green spill crystal tier into the Flask of Wondrous Physic. Then you can put the flask in your item roll. There it is right there. Switch over to it. Drink it. You can only do this once per rest. Check out your status again and you'll see that your stamina is now increased to 110. And there's all different kinds of crystal tiers you can load into the Flask of Wondrous Physic and drink it to give you certain kinds of bonuses. You also have a Spirit Companion, which you can put in your item roll as well. These guys here, the Lone Wolf Ashes. And you can use them every time you see a little monument icon on the left side of the screen. Look on the left side of the screen, right above Barbaric Roar. Okay, you see it disappeared. Now it comes out. In certain, most parts of the game when you're in combat, you can use this. And you can just tickle your little Spirit Calling Bell, and these guys will come out and help you in combat. Alright? Don't want to do that now, it's just for demonstrational purposes. We collected two smithing stones. You can collect a lot more, but um, like I said, this is not about uh, an early OP build. This is just about quickly getting you up and running. We have two smithing stones. If you have the money, you could use those two smithing stones to improve weapons. Using this here, this smithing table, or going to the round table and talking to the smith the blacksmith there who is located right here go to the round table past the fire and this blacksmith here can also strengthen your weapons using smithing stones and money that's pretty much it oh ash of war you can now change the skills on your weapons using the whetstone knife. Go to any side of grace. Click on Ashes of War and you can change the skill on your club to any Ash of War that you've picked up. So for example, our current skill is Barbaric War. This allows you to do combos. Say you don't like that skill. You could change this skill as long as you have a Ash of War. You're going to be picking up a lot of these. Click on the club. Click on Ash of War Storm Stomp. And now your skill is changed to Storm Stomp. That's it. You now have everything you need to start playing the game. Right? The world is your oyster. You shall not want. My name is Major Slack. And if you thought this video was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, post a comment, stuff like that there. 
and I'll see you next time for some more Elden Ring. Be sure to check out my complete walkthroughs of Elden Ring. I'm doing a prisoner walkthrough over on my other channel, uh, Major Slack Videos, and I'm doing a samurai walkthrough right here on Major Slack Attack. Links in the video description. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.